The story of Merrick is that we were founded in 1955 by founders Sears Merrick and Ed LeCure. They were motivated engineers and their love for engineering and the built environment and the love for photography invigorated them to start the company. Our vision statement is to provide solutions that help not only our clients but help the environment. Merrick is uh, an engineering, architecture, and geomatics firm. We do work both domestically and internationally. Primary markets are energy, life science, national security, and infrastructure. The goal right now is to be involved in manned spaceflight. And of course, the goal of manned spaceflight, number one, is for the U.S. to regain their ability to place their own people in low Earth orbit and then also to go back to the moon and eventually to Mars. So there's a, a huge amount of uh, designs of new equipment, infrastructure to support that move, and we want to be in the middle of it. Merrick was tasked with designing the test stands for the NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center um, liquid hydrogen tank and liquid oxygen tank. We had to come up with a concept that could support these large tanks and withstand significant forces, millions of pounds of load pushing and pulling against the test stands and the test articles. EAC's training expanded our knowledge in Creo Simulate by providing the tools and the basic foundation of, of how to use Creo Simulate. And so we were able to incorporate those skills that we learned in training and utilize that with real production analysis. The instructor-led training that EAC provided cut the time it took me to perform an analysis by at least 50 percent. We used the CREO program to model portions of the crosshead and in doing so at the same time NASA was comparing with some of their own analysis that they did using NASTRAN. The fact that we were coming up with similar stress values, you know, similar stress gradations, helped give NASA the confidence in our analysis that, that it was correct and accurate. It also helped give us confidence as well that, that somebody else using another program was, was seeing similar results. The way that the CREO output was how we could adjust the, the scale of what it would tell us and that we could zoom in on portions and, and pick out peak stresses, et cetera, um, definitely made all that easier. We could focus in on areas and, and show those to NASA and they could compare those with specific areas. We weren't limited in, in how the results were. We could manipulate it as we needed to. NASA had concerns that because the load columns are only supported against the structure on the back side, that maybe there would be a buckling problem that we would see. We were able to run an analysis within CREO that showed all the various modes of inflection and showed NASA that the loads that we were experiencing were nowhere close to the buckling loads and that everything would be fine. And once NASA saw those values, they had no concerns at all. CREO Simulate has a, an incredibly powerful meshing algorithm that we used on the LH2 test stands that worked very well. Once we learned all of the parameters that we needed to put in, the meshing came through very smoothly, very quickly. The impacts of the PTC technology for Merrick with this project within Cross Businesses has really opened up the visibility of the power of um, PTC products and their solutions for many different applications at Merrick. Being a part of the NASA project makes us all very proud because we were a part of a project that impacted our nation. The team performed very well. They uh, performed well because they are very passionate about what they do and that passion came through with quality and to be a part of it makes us feel like we did our part for our country and that makes us all very proud.